Uh, one quick thing to mention about the exit poll is that it's suggesting that the SNP are not going to have a very good night in Scotland. Now, this will probably be largely overshadowed by the fact that the Conservatives are having a not very good night everywhere. But if the numbers are to be believed, then the SNP is really paying the price for a number of things. They're paying the price for the fact that they've obviously had a number of issues. There were some legal issues. Nicola Sturgeon has resigned as their leader. They have a new leader. But there's also an issue about independence, where independence sits in the current debates, and also about the record of the SNP in government in Scotland. And therefore, I, I really think that keeping an eye on what is happening with those SNP MPs will be very important and very indicative of how, where the SNP sits now in Scottish national politics, but also where it sits in UK politics, because it's been able to claim fairly successfully for the past decade that it is the voice of Scotland. If their numbers really do crash, then would they still be able to say legitimately that they are the voice of the Scottish people? Probably not with the same kind of force that they've been able to do so far.